Okay, welcome to the vlog. Um, today's vlog is a backpack review. Um, I've recently bought a, a bag which, in my opinion, is is the best one that I've ever bought. So I thought I'd do a review on it. To you know, if you're thinking about buying a, a bag or a gym bag and you're not sure which one to buy, um, hopefully this vlog will give you a little bit of an insight into one that I've bought and I've been through many. For the people that know me, that know I've I've gone through quite a lot of rucksacks. Um, but this one is the Lululemon Assert. 30 litre backpack. Um, I've, I was um and on whether I was going to buy it or not. I was looking at the pictures online and I wasn't sure whether it was going to be the right fit, you know, the right sort of bag for me. Um, I've had many other bags and they've never been quite right in terms of, you know, filling all, ticking all the boxes for me. But I saw this one at first, I thought that it looked, you know, a bit odd with the three pockets on there, but we'll come on to that later. But you know, since I took the dive and, and bought it, it is actually the, the best bag. So we'll dive into the kind of review just now. Um, and if you have any questions, comments, you know, just let me know below and hopefully I'll uh, I'll be able to answer them for you and just provide a little bit more clarity if I've not covered ever anything in the video. Okay, let's dive into it just now. Okay, so we will start we'll start from the back of the bag, okay, um just to kind of show you. Uh so this has a cushion back, so it's it sits quite nicely on, on the back. Um, these straps have kind of loopholes there as well, so if you want to attach any kind of any additional items on there, water, if you're going trekking or anything like that, you can you can put that on there. Also, it has um, a sternum strap as well. Now, this sternum strap just clips on just like that. And it's kind of got some teeth on the other side there. Um, and it just you just pull it and it comes off and that goes for both sides you can actually you can actually disconnect the the sternum strap from both sides and you can also have it higher or lower most bags do do that but I do like the feature where you can actually sort of take it off on both sides and you can if you don't use the sternum strap you can take it off completely and it doesn't it doesn't take anything away from the performance of the bag and um, so yeah um, the nylon sort of strapping webbing that it's built from is really really robust stuff so that's going to handle well the build quality of this bag is just second to none it's fantastic um i think sometimes the, the with some bags particularly the kind of performance trekking bags they can sometimes be a bit overbuilt um whereas this one's just hit the nail on the head in terms of you know build quality and um, it's not overbuilt and it's not underbuilt it's you know it will last and it will last a very very long time a lifetime um, if you look after it um, so at the back here there is a, a laptop compartment this bag is water resistant as well so it, it will it'll hold up to any kind of you know rain so it'll keep your technology nice and safe and dry I typically will keep uh, my MacBook in there and that just slides in there. I think that's a 13 inch MacBook. We actually got some new laptops for my work today and it's a we it's a lot bigger the, the laptop and that fitted in there as well so it will, it will take a bigger laptop in there um, which is good, a good feature if, particularly if you're commuting. Um, also has a, a grab handle there as well. Again, build quality, you can see the sort of sewing stitching on that is really high quality um, so yeah that is a really cool feature um, we'll go into the the main compartment here okay um, now there's lots of cool little pockets in here like additional pockets that are just awesome basically so I you the reason I um, need this or wanted this bag is there was a number of different reasons you know I needed it to be 30 liter because it needed to be able to carry my my lunch and my gym kit my work you know shirt and trousers and any other additional items like my laptop and also batteries and chargers and various other pieces of equipment that I tend to carry with me the good thing about this is that on the front of this it has a zip all the way down where you can put your sort of dirty laundry so if I'm going straight from the gym showering at work I can just put all the dirty laundry into there and it's not smelling out the rest of the bag um, it also has kind of two phone 
pockets just here you can see that um, so you can stash anything in there your phone pens map whatever it is that you you would want to carry in that main compartment and it's there and it also has a pocket down the bottom end there as well which I tend to keep my work notebooks in there so my to-do list and just kind of scrap notes in there and they just fit perfectly perfectly in there keeping them separated and also dry from any other additional stuff in there so it keeps it well protected keeps so it's not going to bend or anything like that and it has this kind of pocket of this space in here which I didn't quite understand what it was for or if I was ever going to use it I just kind of went with it um, but after using it a fair number of times it's actually really handy um, because if I've got a scarf on or my hat on or just an item that I just need to take off and I haven't really got time to open up the bag and find it, you can just stuff it straight into there so I typically keep like my hat in there gloves and it's just quite a handy stash pocket where you can just stash things in you can also get access to that through here as well so you just go there and you get your gloves out so it's got quick access in there as well and um, that obviously flaps forward once you but you can just pull it back with these clips here clip on the other side as well so it just keeps it together um, you can just put a jack in there, a hoodie or something like that. Um, when I first got the bag, I, was a, I wasn't I was too sure about these pockets at the front, um, but what actually made me buy the bag in the end was because of the vlogging. So I've got the camera equipment and various other bits of you know equipment that I need to carry with me, and it's perfect for that. So I can put the camera in the front of it and then any, any additional charges, wires and stuff like that. This top pocket here, it's one of the most handy pockets that you can get. So as you can see in there, I've got my my wallet, we we Mont Blanc number, which um, headphones, and just some loose change. And I typically put my phone in there if I'm sitting on the train. It's just easy to get into that top pocket. Um, and then here, this pocket. You can hang your keys off that. It's also got a phone holder. Again, you can put wires or chargers or anything like that. Quite big and well built. <coughs> Same goes for this one. There's just a couple of pen holders in there, which is quite handy. And another kind of phone pocket that you can stash stuff in there. Um, yeah, I think that, you know, in terms of the build quality with this, the zips is just, you know, the zips are great, the, the feel of it, the texture of the bag, it's just, it'll hold up to to most conditions, or all, all conditions actually, and it's just a, a really high quality bag. It, it has two sort of water bottle pockets as well, you can, I typically have my overnight oats that I'll, I'll put in there, it's stretchy as well, but it stretches to the inside so it doesn't take anything, doesn't push out it actually goes in the way which is quite handy and um, also in this side keep this handy umbrella always need an umbrella with you when you're in Scotland in the UK because it's probably gonna rain and um, so it always like quite handy to have that um, yeah so really good bag there is also another pocket in here like a hidden pocket um, that you can stash hidden items in there. so quite deep you could probably fit an iPhone in there um, and whatever well, whatever you want really but an iPhone is probably the sort of space if to compare it to um, again zipping up um, what I really like about this bag the most is well obviously the build quality which I've mentioned but also it's it's quite subtle in its branding as well I mean on every zip you'll see a, a Lululemon sign um, and there's got one Lululemon kind of metal badge and it's not, you know, it's, it's high quality but it's not in your face and that's that's what I like about this, you know, it's not screaming brand um, I do like Lululemon's gear quite a lot um, I've got you know, a few pairs of their shorts which are amazing um, I've also bought the 
Lululemon uh, Commander Day duffel, which I'll also do a review on. And that, in terms of a kind of gym duffel bag or just overnight bag, is, is brilliant as well. So that'll be an, on, a, on another vlog, another rip bag review. Um, but if you're looking for a rucksack, this is probably the way to go, particularly if you're using it for commuting. Um, I mean, in terms of the price in the UK, this costs £128, which I know you might think is expensive in thinking, how can you ever pay £128 for a bag? But for an item that you use every day, I use this every single day, and I want to feel good in the bag that I'm wearing. I want it to be fit, tick every single box in terms of my requirements, fit in my lunch, fit in my gym gear, fit in my work. Uh, suit in there, what, you know, whatever I need to put in there, I want to be able to put in there and it still look good. Um, it looks quite professional, you know, I work in an office job and regularly meeting clients, that just looks very professional, you can take it on holiday with you as well. So if you are looking for a bag, um, I think the Lululemon one is the way to go. Um, if you do have any other questions about this bag and you want a little bit more clarity of there may be something in the here that I've not covered, then just please do let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to, to answer that. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for a bag, check out the Lululemon one. Right. I hope you enjoyed that vlog and we'll see you in the next one. You take care.